In this video, we're going to replace the downstream O2 sensor in this 2013 Hyundai Elantra. It's located on the back side of your motor on the bottom of the catalytic converter. All right, so underneath the vehicle, we can find our catalytic converter. We're going to be replacing this downstream O2 sensor. We're going to get on it with a 22 millimeter O2 sensor socket and a breaker bar. It's going to be a little awkward to get your O2 sensor to turn with your breaker bar. So just use your hand as best you can in the breaker bar when you need to. Just be aware that this wire will turn as you're turning the O2 sensor and that might bind up. Tightening and loosening, what that'll sometimes do is break free of the rust and the corrosion in the threads and just help you release it by hand. All right, so now that we have our downstream O2 sensor removed, we can go to the top side and start to remove the wiring in the electrical connection. But while we're here underneath the vehicle, what we're gonna do is actually install our new O2 sensor. Just put that in place and just start that by hand. You'll only be able to get this on so far. We'll move over to the socket and just snug it up, and then we'll torque it down to spec. All right, so with our 22 millimeter O2 sensor socket, we'll just tighten this down so it's nice and snug, and then we'll come back and torque it to spec. Now, as you're tightening this, you'll notice the cable's wrapping around. Just keep unwinding that cable. All right, now that we've got it snugged up, we'll just come in here with our wrench, just put a half a turn on that. All right, so now that we have our downstream O2 sensor snugged up, we can torque it down to 30 foot-pounds. All right. Now what we can do is take our plug end and just place it up in the vehicle so that way we can reach it when we get topside. All right, so we're gonna remove our engine cover. It's held in place by four push pins. We're just gonna grab the cover underneath in the front, just pull straight up. We're gonna do the same on the two sides towards the back, just pull straight up. And we can remove this. All right, so now we're on the top side of the motor. This cable here comes up from our old O2 sensor. And if we follow this forward to this gray plug here. The gray plug is the vehicle side. The black plug is the one we need. So what we're going to do is remove it from this metal tab, which is on the vehicle. We're going to use a pick tool and try and get underneath that metal tab. All right, what we're going to try and do is Lift up that metal tab and push our black plug forward. Sometimes there's a hole in there, you can push down in the center of that hole. But we can also remove our top O2 sensor plug. 
from the bracket and just set that aside. That'll give us a little bit more room to work here. Now these plugs have probably been on there a while, so they might not come off easy. A little patience, they will come off. All right, so I have a pick tool. We're gonna to push down the center clip there and we're gonna use a panel tool and just pry and push the uh, plug off of that metal bracket. have that free. What we can do is follow our cable and open up these metal tabs on the heat shield and pull our old O2 sensor right out. Follow it to our plug. And I'm going to use a pick tool. You're gonna open that clip and pull the black plug out. All right, so now we can take our new O2 sensor. We'll sit it back on our metal bracket and plug it back in. We'll take the vehicle side, move that out of the way. You will take the O2 sensor and slide it onto this bracket. And we can plug in our vehicle side, clip faces down, plug it into here a click. We can take our top O2 sensor, push that back onto the bracket. And we're gonna take it and push it back into our bracket. We can take our top O2 sensor, clip that in also. And then right here, we can push that clip closed. All right, now we can put on our engine cover. I'm gonna line up these holes and just center in those two items. That'll help you find your pins. Give it a little rock left and right. You can tell if you're where you need to be. Just push down here and here. Give it a little lift up. Make sure you're in place. If not, give it another push down and you're done. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.